So what's good to you, you know it's from Sancho, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Football Talk and this time we're going to talk about football of course let's take a look at the Premier League I got a few uh, results here man let's start with the uh, Premier League and Tottenham who lost against West Ham are they now out of the league race? I mean they should really have won that match well they didn't play that well but they had to win that match to stay behind Chelsea and really really push them for a league title but now Chelsea look like they're gonna win the league. I, I knew that from the beginning, man. I'm just saying, man. Looking very tough for Tottenham to really get the league title now. They crumbled at the last stage. West Ham was like the last tough opponent, I, I think. Or it might have United left, but they will only focus on Europa League, so yeah, it doesn't matter. But now Tottenham will finish second place, still above Arsenal. Arsenal fans, are you mad? But now the intense fight for the Champions League spot continues. And Man City smashed Crystal Palace 5-0, 5-0 the team that beaten Chelsea, that beaten Liverpool, that beaten Arsenal I think. They were the weak winners this time Man City because other teams like Liverpool drew against Southampton 0-0. They lost two very important points in the uh, fight for Champions League spot in third place. But now City are only one point behind Liverpool, one more game in hand. So yeah, if they win the next match, Man City will take the third spot and push down Liverpool to fourth place. And just behind fourth place we have United and Arsenal played against each other two days ago at the Emirates. And uh, yeah, well, it was a good game. Starting off in the first, it was a good game. But you could really, really see that United players, they just didn't give a fuck about the league, man. All focus are at the EuroLeague against Santa Vigo second leg. They won the first match 1-0. Now I'm just gonna seal the deal, get to the final, get the win and get the Champions League place in that way. But yeah, Arsenal beat them 2-0 in the end. It was it was a good game, but 2-0. Uh, it was a lucky goal by Granit Xhaka. Finally, he can score a goal or two for Arsenal. Otherwise, he only gets a red card. But now he scored a goal, the first goal to really set off this match. And from that point, yeah, Arsenal had a control, man, they had a lot of possession. Then Weber came on, scored a goal against his former club, smiled a bit, cheeky bastard. But I would I don't blame you, I would as well, because it was a good win for them. And now they had an FA Cup final left, and if they win that, Arsenal and Wenger could have a little bit of happiness after this season to celebrate. But now, mm, I still think Man City and Liverpool will take the last two uh, Champions League spots in the league. United will of course win the league, or the Euro League, unless, unless they face Ajax, which is likely they will, because they smashed Schalke 4-0, I think it was a 4-1, something like that. So yeah, Ajax is a very dangerous and good team, young players, technical players, and United will struggle against Ajax if they face each other in the in the final because South Africa could still turn this game around against United. Only one goal, only one goal to take it to extra time and penalties. So uh, it's going to be interesting one in the yeah I think it's Thursday yeah Thursday. But now moving on to League uh, 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 uh. League uh, Paris Saint Germain with Cavani up front. That I speak French now, a friend. Yeah, my friend. Uh, we scored a lot of goals. Uh, yes, uh, we. But yeah, Cavani front against uh, yeah PSG against Bastia 5 0 And that stage, they put some pressure on Monaco, the league leaders, because they had to win. Otherwise, they would be on the same amount of points. Still, one more game to play for Monaco. But now uh, later on, Monaco smashed Nancy, Nancy, Nons 3 0 away from home, and still three points out of PSG. One more game to play, so yeah, PSG must win the two remaining matches to really, really keep the league title uh, still alive. So uh, that's not gonna happen, Monaco is gonna win, although they have Champions League to focus on today actually against Juventus. They're not gonna lose the league, and PSG, you fucked up big time, you should really beat teams like Monaco. If you look at the players that you have versus the players that Monaco have, no offense to Monaco players, they are really good, great players. But the amount PSG spent on their players, Cavani a few years back, De Maria, now Draxler, and uh, Thiago Silva way, way back. But yeah, motivation beats money, I guess. So Monaco will be motivation versus PSG will be, be money. I know Monaco has money as well, 
but have more hungry players and young players like Mbappe, Sidibe and then experiences Falcao you know man, they're gonna win the league but now they have a tough task against Juventus Champions League they need to turn the game around it's gonna be a tough, tough mission for them I don't think they will manage but hopefully they will because then Mbappe could face his idol Real Madrid and Ronaldo did I say idol? his favorite team Real Madrid and Idol Ronaldo. And speaking of Real Madrid and Ronaldo, moving on to La Liga, La Liga BBVA, all top three teams in the Spanish league got a three pointer, so still no changes at the top three. Same amount of points separating the teams. And Barcelona beat Villarreal 4 1. Was it 4 2? It was 4 1 after a really good match. They scored a lot of goals, obviously because they won 4 1. Duh. But yeah, they had really good chances for the score. They could have scored like three or four goals. They weren't clinical enough and good few saves by Ter Stegen. In the end, yeah, Barca deserved the win and they really needed a win because if they lost that match or dropped points, Real Madrid would be top of the table with one more game to play. And Real Madrid beat their match against Granada. They rested, yeah, nine players on starting 11, but still pretty strong B side they put up with Morata from Asensio, Vasquez, Kovacic. Nacho Dan Danilo did a quite good match actually in control the left back. But yeah, against Granada, the, I think they are in last place. So yeah, should really smash them. 4-0, four goals in the first half. And that was the end of the match. And 4-0 was the final result. Two goals by James, two goals by Morata. And Morata seems to continue to score a lot of goals. And why does he keep playing with, with Benzema for instead of Morata in the big matches? Morata with few starters has scored more goals than Benzema. He scored 15 goals Morata and Benzema only scored 9. I mean 9 and he started the yeah, majority of the matches. And Morata, when he comes on, he scores goals. Benzema, he misses easy opportunities. He's starting to piss me off. Hopefully next season, he will start with Morata. I will still love to keep Benzema at the club, but he's a good quality player. Just this season, mm, hasn't reached his full potential yet. But yeah, next season, stock with Morata more often, man. Come on, Zidane, listen to me, man. I mean, only nine goals in uh, 25 plus matches when you started for your team. That's not good enough for a strike at Real Madrid. Even our captain Ramos scored almost more goals. He scored seven, two behind Benzema. And he's a fucking centre-back for fuck's sake. The centre-back scored seven goals. Two less than our striker Benzema. Ah, oh, I'm getting pissed. But even, even Mariano does a good job up front. A very young player. He's, I really like him. Hopefully we can keep on to him, not loaning him out. But the main goal is that we won. And we're still keeping the same amount of points as Barcelona. One more game in hand. So if we win that match against Celta Vigo, things will look good, man. Now we can actually afford to draw one match and win the rest because we will have one more point in them than Barcelona. But I think we're going to win the league and go to the Champions League final. We're going to face Juventus. Monaco not going to turn it around. So yeah, it's going to be a tough one. But if it's a team that can beat Juventus, who had six clean sheets in their knockout rounds, it's Real Madrid because they scored in like... 57 or 58 straight matches at least one goal so yeah they're gonna put Juventus defense on a test man I promise you that we'll score at least one goal take my word for it otherwise if you're not match to score a goal against Juventus I will uh, I will uh, I will do some challenge some forfeit comment down below if you want to see something I don't know but moving on to Serie A a league that I don't really like because the lack of goals. But yeah, again this weekend we've got another match with a shit lot of goals like the last week and the week before. We were 9 goals last week. But now we've got 10 goals. 10 goals. Probably the most goals I've ever seen in Serie A in one match. In one fucking match. Lazio versus Sampdoria. 7-3, man. What the hell happened there? Then why do I keep missing those matches? Although I saw the last match with the 9 goals when Fiorentina beat Inter. I didn't see the first half, saw the second half, which still exploded with goals. But now this game, Lazio versus Sampdoria, 7-3, man. 10 goals. Is it a fixed match? You never know with the Serie A and Italian Mafia bosses. But yeah, for the neutral fan, it was a really good match to see. I saw the highlights, man. But it still counts, man. Kudos to Serie A. Step me up the goal scoring ratio in the league. And hopefully you can get another big match scoring match. A big scoring match next week. We also have Milan versus Roma. And Roma is in the race of second place spot. 
because Juventus they gonna win the league man and Juventus who drew against Torino 1-0 at home Mm, uh, disappoint for Juventus, they could really won the league there, but nah, maybe they want to have a bit more intense match in their league, I don't know. But yeah, Milan versus Roma, 4-1 to Roma, Zeko scored two goals, I believe. And Milan, what happened there? Then the former glory and days are long gone. Will they ever reach top? I doubt it, at least not in the two or three coming years. They had to really, really start from scratch from the squad. Back is probably gonna leave. Yeah, who else do they have? El Shrabi's not in Milan anymore, he's in Roma. <laughs> so yeah, they need to sort the squad out. But I don't give a fuck, I don't like him. The way they treated Thiago Silva and Slatan Ibrahimic, I, I guess they needed to do the change because they needed the money, but nah. Fuck off Milan. Now no, I'll take it back, I'll take it back. You're a good team, man. Will we ever fight for top spot once again? Nah, not in five years, something like that. Roma really got three points. Really got three points. Yeah, Roma got three points and really pushed for the second place in the league. Only one point of Napoli, who beat Cagliari, I think it was 3 1, something like that. So, yeah, Roma has 78 points and Napoli 77, one point separating them. And in the next match, Roma will face Juventus. A Juventus who could win the league there and there, man. There and there. Yeah, there and there, I don't know. But yeah, you know what I mean. They could win against the rival Roma. And Francesco Totti, probably his last game of the season at Stadio Olimpico. Will he come on and score the winner? You never know. That would be an epic ending to his, season, to his season, to his career. 25 seasons long career. Fucking hell. 25 seasons one club. That's rare. Slap down, don't you think? <laughs> But yeah, and the other match, Torino who drew against Juventus, they're gonna face Napoli in the next match. So, the second place is a very, very tight. Napoli could could get three points. I think they, they will do that because you, you then might lose, like, uh, Roma might lose against Juventus. It might be a draw. But I think Napoli will get three points against Torino, even though they are a good team. They are in seventh or fifth place, seventh, I think, pushing for the Europa League uh, spots. It's gonna be an intense end to the Serie A. And that's basically it I had for this episode. And if you, as you can see, I had the remedy shirt on as I said in the last episode that I would. And I got a question for you. I'm heading out to Barcelona in a few, uh, in a few hours. So yeah, a weekend, I'm gonna be there four days. Yeah, three or four days, something like that. So, and my hotel is at the, in town, that's La Ram, near La Ram, last nice one. But if, if we can hit, 20 likes in this episode, I will uh, post in front of camp now with my Real Madrid shirt on just to fuck with the Barcelona fans, man. You don't fuck with us, man. We're gonna win the league in front of your noses. So yeah, you wanna see me in front of camp now wearing a Real Madrid shirt? Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. I might do like a tweet if we hit 20 retweets I'm gonna post with this shirt, man. I don't know. But yeah, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new, man. Thanks for watching. This is what I'm Thanks for watching and till next time, thank you, come again.